All right, the time has come. I've got 77 runecrafting, and it's time to knock out some elite diaries. Real quick, I want to give you guys a big thank you for helping me reach 2,000 subscribers. Didn't think it was going to happen when I started, but, you know, here we are. So thank you very much, guys. Let's go ahead and roll the clips and get into some elite diaries. Alright, so this is a scene that's probably been familiar to you guys throughout the series. Yeah, we're once again here trying to get orange spices from the Hell Rat Behemoths. Here with my trusty cat, Olaf. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, collect some, uh, some spices. I need to get a plus five boost in runecrafting, and I need to get a plus four boost in smithing. So, yeah, if I can get those, that, that'll, um, that'll make things a little bit easier. Also, if I get a boost in cooking, that'll be great. Uh, cooking boost means I can make summer pie, but then again, it's only like a plus three boost. It's not really a big of a deal. I've got a bunch of sharks chilling in my bank, a bunch of wines. I can easily just get 95 if I want to get it. Uh, but if we get it now, that'd be great. I've got some strawberries uh, going in Artie. So once those are ready, I'll be able to make summer pie. Also, Olaf's getting a shit beat out of him right now. Eh, you should be able to take him. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys once I've got these boosts. Oh, this is annoying. I got the 82 runecrafting boost. But I have all this smithing shit in my inventory. Oh, all right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll get all the uh, runecrafting stuff done. All right, there's a reason we need the plus five runecrafting boost. We got the double astrals made. So I still have to do the ones for the Lumbridge Diaries. And I also have to do the ones for the Varric Diaries as well. So let's go get those knocked out. Here we go with all the water runes in the world that we need. Boom. Lumbridge Elite. Uh, let's go get the Varrock one done now. The last room crafting boost I really need for a while here. There we go. Elite task in the Varrock area. Oh, man. Can't wait. Can't wait to go finish up these diaries. I still need to go get that smithing boost. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, I think it's pretty much just the smithing boost. And then we, we got these diaries. Well, something very unfortunate has happened. Um, I thought that if you logged in and logged out, with your, uh, with your pet fighting the behemoth, then your pet would just spawn next to you. Like, it would take it out of the room and spawn next to you, but I think it despawns the pet, so I wouldn't have gotten myself a new kitten. Uh, rest in peace, Olaf. I, I don't know what happened to him. He's not in my bank. He's not following me. He didn't go to my inventory. I don't know where in the world he went. Um, I double-checked. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to run away from the behemoths, and they'll just leave the room and come out of there. So I will do that next time. Uh, but in the meantime, I couldn't get the boost despite using, like, <sighs> using, like, 20 stews. I couldn't get the smithing boost. Uh, I needed to get a plus four, but I just kept getting negative boosts. So, I'm gonna go do some of the other steps, uh, for the diaries while this kitten grows into a cat. Alright, let's see how long this one takes. Hey, not long at all. Not long at all. Nice. Got on the first pick. I'm gonna get a frog leather body. The hell are these things? This guy, Moverio. This guy's hard to find. It really is. Let's pickpocket him. Hey, it is a pen and illusion. And elite task done. Oh, I got a plus five smithing boost. Oh, this hell kitten's lucky. Oh, you're lucky. You are a lucky little kitten. Yes, you are. All right, let's go here. 10 dart tips. And there's 10 darts. There we go, there's an elite task done! Last thing I should need for the Lumbridge Diary here, uh, we want to use the Addy Bars, we want to smith Addy Bars. Addy Play Body? Let's go, mmm! Yep, that is the last one, we need to talk to Hades Kazianus. We need to talk to him, but first, I'm gonna go make myself a, uh, a Rune Hasta. There we go, time to make ourselves a Rune Hasta. Let's do it, make one. Mmm! Elite task in the Kandarian area, and I believe that's every single uh, every single smithing boost I need. I don't need to boost my smithing anymore, unless I want to make uh, rune dart tips, of course. But uh, I'll probably have the smithing level for that eventually uh, without boosting. Yeah, that feels uh, that feels pretty good. All right, time to pick up those rewards from the Lumbridge and Draenor Elite Diary. Uh, importantly, the rewards that we get, we're gonna get a Lamp worth 50k XP, which I'm going to put in Herblore, of course. We're also going to get a sixth block slot for our Slayer tasks. That's going to be very, very, very useful. Got to gotta cash that in at Duradel sometime. I don't know. I haven't really filled up my current block slots. I don't know what the heck to block. Uh, we get a small discount from the Culinary Mancer's chest. That's neat. 
Uh, maybe useful when I'm going to be buying jugs for wine. But uh, importantly, we get fairy rings. Uh, we no longer need our ramen staff, so I can go drop those out of my bank. That's one more bank space I don't need. And uh, yeah, that should be it. We'll drop the XP into Herblore, of course. There it is, 50k. Getting close to 86. I think I'm going to go finish up the Fremnik and the Varric Diary now. I like how each one of these has a, has a step. This is kind of ridiculous. This chat spam. It's real. 19... 20, all right, there we go. Elite task done. All right, so the last one is I have to um, I have to make the summer pie, so I think my strawberries are probably done. Well, first we need to first we need to bank this junk in my inventory. Let's go ahead and do that. Chuck all these runes in here. These lovely, lovely, lovely mahogany planks. Mm. Very nice. All right, uh, yeah, let's go check the uh, let's go check the arty farm. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Look at these beautiful strawberries and this very, very, very dead herb. Uh, it should probably be way more than enough for one summer pie. I don't know why I planted two of these. I think this is way more enough. Yeah, it's way more than enough. Uh, yeah, just in case we need to make multiple summer pies, though, let's put these here. I mean, they are 95 required. Yeah, we got the cooking boost we needed. First try. Very nice. I had to get these spices with a, with a hell kitten, so yeah, that wasn't very fun. All right, please, for the love of God, don't burn this. Hey, we got our first try. There we go. That is the last task in uh, in Varrock that we had to do. So there's the Varrock Elite Diary done. Pretty happy about that. I can just drop this orange spice. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I can also get rid of these strawberries. I don't really need these for anything. All right, there he is. Took a minute to find Toby. Here's all tasks in the Varrock Elite area done. And 120 battle staffs per day. That's that's pretty much the one I care about. Gonna rub the lamp here. Get our herbal XP. Uh. 5k from 86. Not bad. So uh, the reason level 86 is kind of important is because at that point I no longer have to get spices um, to to boost up to uh, to boost up to 90 herblore for super combats. I can just use botanical pies, which botanical pies are actually somewhat easy to get, whereas getting a plus five boost is a total pain in the ass. Um, not to mention I already have a few botanical pies in the bank, so next time I need to make super combat should be pretty easy. So uh, yeah, let's let's buy a bunch of battle staffs. Boom, there we are, 120 of them. That's gonna be really nice. Uh, this along with the automatic sand that I'm getting from the Artie Diary should mean that crafting levels will come pretty easy, hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pop this open so we can cross it off the list there. There we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six out of eleven diaries. Uh, still need to go do the Fremenic Diary. Just have to go kill all the God Wars dungeon bosses. So I've already killed Zami and Bandos. Now I just need to go kill Armadil and Sardomen. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. I haven't really tried to do those yet on my Iron Man. Pretty excited though. Right, so this is gonna be my first time stepping into the uh, the Sardomen boss room. Uh, so first things first, I'm pretty sure I need to stand up. That's first thing. Uh, and then we also need to range pots. That's also a thing. Uh, yep, now we need to turn on the Mage Prayers. Now, I'm pretty sure I have, like, a decent idea how to do this. Yep. Alright. Ah, this is starting to look pretty normal here. Really just, like, one hit from dead here. If we can get it, that'd be great. Ah, there we go. Down she goes. Let's see what we got. Mmm, brews and restores. Nice. Alright, I know it's a bit of a waste of a trip, but I'm just gonna loot what I can and get out of here now with just the one kill. Reason being, I don't really want to do too many kills off stream. I want to do as many SAR kills as I can on stream. Uh, it's gonna be the same thing with Armadillo. I'm just gonna get the one for the diary and get out of there. I don't want to get any cool items uh, off stream. I definitely want this to be really, really, really hype when we do this for real. Alright, here we go. First ever Cree kill. It's done off pretty well. Uh, could be better. I, I took a lot of damage coming into the room. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not still in the corner. Need to be into the corner here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, make sure we're, uh, we're brewed up here. There we go. Just make sure we're all topped off. Alright, let's do it.
Hey, this boss is just a bitch. <laughs> I'm hoping I hope I can get something good here. But no, I'll, next time I come back to do Korea, I will bring black chins because this is uh this is frankly ridiculous. This kill is measured in uh, in the minutes. I mean, like I'm looking at the corner right now, and it's been five minutes. A five minute Korea kill, like <laughs> that's ridiculous. You know, that is fucking ridiculous. So there we go. All the elite diaries done. Whew. All right, we'll pick up our 20k coins. Yeah. Yeah, thanks God Wars Dungeon. It's great. Alright, and here we are to accept the uh, the Fremnic Elite Diary. Let's like to throw it in here. I'd like to collect my Fremnic Elite Diary. Ooh, yeah! A note of Dagonoth Bones. That's that's the big one. Of course, uh, kind of give you getting a Herbler level as well. Like I said earlier, this is kind of important because now I can boost up with Botanical Pies. Uh, instead of needing to... Um, instead of needing to get a plus 5 boost every time I want to make Super Combat. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and I don't have to boost up to make the stamina mix for the Kandaran Diaries, so that's pretty good. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a good place to leave off for the episode. Um, that's a lot of Elite Diaries. That's three Elite Diaries, so good thing that the uh, the ZMI grind paid off. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next episode. I want to take a moment to say thank you again for helping me hit 2k subs. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you so much. Sorry I'm getting a little bit behind on uploads. I mean, the holiday season just happened here in the, in the States. We had Thanksgiving. So I'm, I'm getting a little behind in terms of getting videos out, but I'm going to try to get a little bit extra for you guys before the holiday season starts for Christmas. So I look forward to a little bit extra in your sub box in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for sticking with me the whole way, and I'll see you guys next time. Strix out.